December, one day away from New Year's, and what I wanted to share with you today was um, headaches. Well, headaches kind of suck if you have them, and uh, putting it mildly, but there is a way to get some help, and, and here's the problem I see is I'm a chiropractor, and people think, okay, you take Tylenol, you take a leave, you see a neurologist, and those are all good things to do, but if the headaches keep coming back, it's really in your best interest to try and see what a chiropractor can do for you. And here's, here's a couple of things that I look for. And I, and I, I love treating headache cases because we are so successful with them. And what I, what I look for is, uh, first of all, I look for an MRI that's totally clean. Like the MRI that comes back and they can't find anything wrong. That's a good thing because we know it's not a bad tumor or some process that one I can't help. But... Um, Typically, the people I see with negative MRIs, negative is a good thing, I meaning there's nothing bad on the MRI. Um, it's, it's a great thing for us because we know we get you know, basically no problems that we have to be uh, concerned with. I also see on x rays, there's usually there's a flattening of the curve. Um, from a mechanical standpoint, we're supposed to have a curve in the neck area, and when it's not, we lose the curve, we actually have pressure that can go not only on the, well, I find the suboccipital nerves. That, that's typically. If you have a headache that goes behind your head and over into the skull, that's your suboccipital nerves are getting pinched at the very base of your head, with it, kind of where the head meets the spine. You know, very, very, just run your hand along the back of your neck, and when you get to soft tissue, that's where the suboccipital fibers are. And a lot of times, these suboccipital fibers uh, are, are, you know, dinged or there's pressure on it, and it causes migraines, migraine pain, regular headaches. Um, so when we relieve pressure there, we have some pretty great success with, with uh, basically getting rid of people's migraines. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's not really a secret, but it, people don't seek out a chiropractor for migraines. It's almost like the last resort. And I can imagine a lot of people would be helped sooner. Because if you, if you keep getting headaches and you take an Advil and it comes back, you're not solving any problem there. It's, 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 we need to understand that if it keeps coming back, you have it. So the condition may be managed, but it's not being um, fixed. And, you know, when you're taking medications, a lot of these heavy-duty medications are, are, are you know, your liver's got to process that stuff. So it's not as easy as you think to, you know, you just take a pill and pain goes away. you gotta, you got to think about trying to fix it. And if there's any secret I want to reveal today is, one, chiropractors do help migraines. If you find yourself suffering with migraines, get yourself to a decent chiropractor. You know, you can. I have some links here. You know, www.chiropracticdarian.com. Um, you can go to my website and contact me, and I'm more than happy to refer you to a good chiropractor to help. But you should really consider it because the pain is affecting you. It's affecting your life. What you choose to do about it is really up to you. And, and if you're having it, uh, migraines for a long period of time. Think about getting over the migraines and and getting out there and just living a life without them. They really the quality of your life can only get better. So I won't talk, take up any more of your time. I'm Dr. Brian McKay. I'm wishing you a happy new year and a new year without migraines. Open your mind to it. Give me a shout. I'll get you in touch with a chiropractor. Have a great day and thanks for listening.